Hello guys, welcome to my 24th video tutorial on XHTML and CSS. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to make uh, how to make a drop down list. Okay, so let's open the portal page1.html and let's delete all this, all this crap. Okay. So now in body, let's do a form. Okay. <coughs> and now let's do um, select tag. Okay. Name. Let's type. Uh, Colors and that's let's close the tag and inside select let's give uh, option tag let's type option tag and then option value equals Let's type uh, red, and now we type red, red, okay. We can, oops, this is option, yeah, that's it. So let's copy this. And we're gonna do a bunch uh, of options based. Okay, four options. That's okay. Red, and let's change this to white. And here, white, red, white, blue, blue, blue. We can type blue. I mean. Sorry guys. Black and black. Okay. Save this. Okay, let's open this. Let's open this in Chrome now. Open it and you'll have a nice drop down list. See? So now you can choose from this list whatever color you like. Okay? So if you want to put some more colors, just go here and type some more option value. Let's type orange. Oops. Orange. Close the option tag. And now you have an orange uh, option to select. Refresh you'll see here okay so you can put as much as uh, options you want okay and we can use this for a lot of things okay I'm sure you saw uh, drop lists drop down lists uh, everywhere okay okay let's delete all this okay you now know how to make some drop down lists and I'm going to show you how to do some um, text areas okay so let's type um, comments here and now gonna type text area name and close text area and here I can type uh, whatever I want come let's put some uh, let's put comments okay save this let's open this in Chrome refresh there it is okay so 
let's put the the comments or the box here the text area below we have to type <coughs> the align break save this and refresh there it is comments here and a text area where you can type whatever you want okay and you can change uh you can change uh the size okay uh click in here okay and you can drag that like this so you can type and you can see all the text you write but <coughs> what about if I want um, by default instead of dragging this every time every time I want to write something instead of dragging this okay I want a default uh, size okay height and width of the box how can I do that well that's very simple we type rows equals uh, let's type 20 and calls equals 20 let's save it let's refresh and there it is I don't like that I want rows to be let's type 5 okay 5 rows and 20 calls call stands for columns as you probably uh, know uh, <coughs> so let's refresh there it is let's type more columns let's type 40 let's refresh there it is okay so this is how we change the default size of the um, text area okay uh, we can still move and drag and change the value but the, m the default value is uh, is this okay is uh, rows 5 columns 40 why <coughs> why uh, does the text area use this kind of attributes why don't uh, why doesn't text area use width and height because text area works like um, like tables okay the text area it has rows and columns but you don't see the limits okay or the borders okay uh, the text area works uh, with um, with cells and <coughs> and we can uh, so we can give uh, the column number we want which are 40 so there would be 40 columns here okay that you don't see they are invisible but they are 40 col columns and they are five rows okay so if we give more we have now one two three four five rows but if we give obviously if we give 15 rows well the height will change okay so this is um, we can see this uh, the rows as the height and the columns as the width of the text area okay guys this is uh, all for this video and I hope uh, this was um, I hope you you know how to make some text areas now I think it's pretty easy so if you have any questions at all just send me a message okay or post the questions in the comment section below and and see you guys in the next video bye